What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. Good morning, Benvenu. How you doing? Today I'm going to talk about uh, Toronto Mayor Rob Ford. He got busted smoking crack. Now, I knew this video was out for a minute. First, I want to say shout out to everybody up in the T dot, everybody up in Scarborough, everybody over in Misagawa, everybody Brampton, Oshawa, everybody in the whole T dot, the whole Golden Horseshoe, I mean the whole Golden Horseshoe, all the way down to Hamilton. Now, Mayor Rob Ford of Toronto was accused of what well, was accused. He he got caught smoking. I guess he admitted he smoking crack. There's a video out. Like I said, I've seen it before. But it was none of my business. I'm not an expose type person. And the thing about it is, now that it's come out, he's denying that he has a habit of smoking crack. Or what he says is, he smoked crack a couple times when he was drinking. Now, he probably is a, you know, an, an alcoholic type person. A, 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 a abuser of alcohol and uh, I think he's an abuser of drugs. Because name one crackhead that you know that just smokes crack while they're drinking. That ain't how it works, ladies and gentlemen. These 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 crackheads they rock and roll forever and a day. They go on binges. They stay up late at night. The picture you see, he just ain't hanging in the hood because he's a drunk. He's hanging in the hood because he he you know he getting busy with that rock. He chasing that dragon, folks. And what I saw on TV, I saw his mother and his sister defending him. And I'm like, God bless their souls. And his sister was saying how she was a former addict. Well, she's a former addict. She knows how what he's doing. It's, you know, the only reason I'm making this video because a friend of mine up in the T-Dot asked me to make this video. And I told him I would give my opinion. Now, first of all, you people got to understand, especially people who aren't familiar with Canada. Canada is a real liberal country. I mean, it's, 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 I've been up there a few times. It is nice. I mean, it's like Toronto. Toronto reminds me of, of like a, a super clean version of Chicago. It's like a world city. Like what is it? Like over fifty percent of the people aren't from there. You know, it has. It's big and like culture wise. It's like culture. It's nice. I mean, it's a, it's a clean city. It's not a real violent city compared to like we have in the United States and other parts of the world. It's like it's a liberal city. People are generally nice. But uh, at the end of the day, you got a mayor who smokes crack. I mean, but the people in Canada, in Toronto, they're more forgiving than the people in the United States. So they're they're wishing for the, and I am too. I hope he you know gets cured of his ills. You know, I'm not gonna jump on him because we all have a cr cross the bear. But I need I, I need to say that um he, when he says that he just smokes crack when he's drinking. That's like saying he only drinks when he smokes crack. You know what I mean? It don't work like that. He has a full-blown addiction. He need what he, he probably did. He probably got his help on a you know off-site. He probably got help behind the media. You know, behind their camera lenses. And so, to me, it's it, people look at it as funny, making jokes. It kind of is, but it kind of ain't. You know. At the same time, he probably figured he's American, can do whatever he wants to do. You know, power corrupts. But at the same time, you know, how can we bash him when the good old residents of the District of Columbia mayor, uh, elected Marion Barry? You know, they re-elected a crackhead for their mayor, so what can we say? So, I think Ford is just denying himself. And he's denying his, his habit because he has to. He has to reassure the people that he has everything under control. But at the end of the proverbial day, folks, and this is what matters, he has to have a support system, a support team around him to help him get off of this. This isn't going to be an overnight thing. This is crack we're talking about. You know, crack is still crack is still powerful, folks. So I just want to make this video, just give my thoughts and opinions. Yes, he's an addict. He needs help. He doesn't need to be ostracized right now. You know, we didn't do that to Mayor and Barry. We don't do it to any of our politicians or our athletes. So let's let's get Mayor Ford, you know, the help he deserves. As long as he's trying to get help, you know, he will do well. Here's, here's the thing about addicts. Not that I'm one. I've never been one. 
But if you notice about them, the only time that they will really, really help, get help, or really quit doing something is when they go do it. You cannot force them to do it. If you force them to do it, what, what all you're doing is prolonging your, they'll have a period of, hey, they didn't probably didn't do it. What they'll do is they'll do it themselves after they're done. I've seen this happen before. You send a person, look at your court systems. You send a person to rehab, they're forced to go to rehab. Now, the only reason why they're going to rehab and they're stopping to smoke drugs or whatever, smoke drugs are doing it, is because they know if they don't stop, they're going to prison. I mean, that didn't stop a lot of people. As you can see, the prison systems are filled up with people with, like, minor drug offenses. So that leads to tell me that, you know, forcing these people, that it's a culture of hand. You can't force these people to get off drugs. People have to get off drugs when they want to get off drugs. And that's why I tell people, I will help you if you want, but I'm not helping you if you force yourself. So, end of the day, I wish him luck. And uh, the people of Toronto, you know, it's all in your hands. So, you know, you can forgive or forget. So, I'm out of here. Peace.